Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in here. What we're gonna be showing you is the checklist that you need in order to prepare to go on a adventure of picking up a puppy from your breeder. And flying home with them. We get this question a lot and we are actually going to pick up a new puppy. So thought this would be a great opportunity to share with you how we're going to do that. Our puppies, we do not actually ship. So it's kind of a requirement to come get them in some form or fashion. And we talk about how easy this is, so we're gonna actually show you. Now, the couple things that you need to be able to do is one, you need to reserve your puppy's spot. Now, this is a carry-on, not a checked bag, carry-on item, but they only allow so many pets and different airlines are different. So once you book your flights or even when you're booking your flights, you can check and see, is there going to be availability for me to carry on my puppy? Yes. So once you have made sure that there is room for your puppy on your flight and you've got that reserved, you are going to need a airline specific puppy crate. Go ahead and grab that out here, Kat. We'll show you what we have. This is a Mr. Peanuts. Uh, yes. Peanuts yes. branded um, dog carrier. And Soft sided, lots yes. of ventilation. I did tons of research when I was looking for the perfect crate to carry a puppy through the airport in because I've actually used this specific crate a couple of times. I accidentally hit my mic. That's right. um, and the things that I like about this one is A, it's got a shoulder strap because your little 10 pound puppy can actually get a lot heavier than you think carrying them just with the handles through your airport for a long amount of time. This thing has a ton of ventilation. So you've got vents on the top, on the side, your puppy's not gonna get too hot. And then you have a good padding and soft fluffy bed here inside. With a very nice structured bottom so the puppy feels safe and secure in there. It's rigid, right? It's yes. not this, just a duffel bag. And then you have the ability to zip open the ends. Yep, uh, both, both ends. of them. And you have to keep your puppy in the bag while you're flying with them. But there's this nice little side part that zips open that you can just put your hand in there and reach in and give them some love and attention and pet them if they're getting a little anxious. Perfect. So we're going to be utilizing this to go out. Um, we're going this week to pick up our lab puppy, little black lab male from Lone Duck Kennels. That's in New York. That's Bob Owens. And we're going to be showing you his adventure our adventure. Now, the last thing that I have to say before we take off into the, the actual video portion of this is you need to check the specific airline's requirements. Some say you can't fly until they're X age or, or whatever else it is. So definitely be checking whatever your specific airline requirements are, and they change all the time. So I'm not even going to put any details in there. Check the websites and then ask the questions. So follow along and see how we go to New York to pick up our lab puppy. There you are. It's like an airlock. Okay, we're here in New York. We're waiting on a ride, and then we're gonna go see some puppies. Yay, puppies! Hey guys, so like we've talked about before, we're getting a lab puppy from Bob, and he knows what we're looking for out of a puppy, and we've talked about how to pick the right breeder. We picked him and now he's going to help us pick the puppy. So he's had time to evaluate all the puppies and he is letting us know, which I'm holding our little boy because he's already told yeah. me. This is green boy. Um, oh, greeny. But why is he the boy for us? So knowing what you guys wanted, you wanted athlete, you wanted driven, you wanted intelligent, you wanted independence, um, but also the dog that will follow you around a little bit too. Green had a lot of retrieve drive, loved the pigeon, 
he was confident to kind of wander off on his own, but as soon as he saw us walk away or whistle to him, he was coming right to be with us. So likes to be loved, likes to be held. This is his little sister here. She's a sweetheart too. But knowing what you were looking for, I tried to pair that with the family. Um, you know, some of the families are just getting a house dog. And so I gave them the more tamed down one. Um, but this guy I think is gonna be a beast. Yeah, from what we've got to see too, I'm already in love. I can't wait to get him home, introduce him to Aiden, our little boy, um, and get started training. I can't so, wait. We will be showing you how we fly home with this little guy really soon. I may not envy that part. <laughs> All right, we're here at the airport and we've got this little guy. We're trying to get a quick potty break. Yeah, buddy. And I'll try to stop distracting, but ultimately, um, we got him some water this morning. We didn't feed him breakfast. We got a short trip and then we'll be home here early afternoon. And we want to help him to be successful and this be easier on him. And if he doesn't have a full belly and need to poop the whole time we're in the plane or in the airport, uh, that'll be a lot easier on everybody involved. So we just trying to get a quick potty, which leashes are new and collars are new for little guys. So take the time and then we're going to head in. We've got to move in there. Uh, we're gonna check our bags and we have to sign up for him. I already said we called and reserved that, but we have to pay for his spot on the plane and then, then we'll go through security. So follow along here and we'll keep you posted as we go. All right, we've got the little guy in his crate. He's not 100% happy with it yet, but uh, Kat and I've got our bags here. We're gonna go get them lined up at the check a baggage line, get our tickets, and then we'll go ahead and head to security to get through that. And we give you a little update once we get through. Okay, so uh, we didn't get a real good potty before we headed in there. So we're gonna try another quick potty break. We made it through. We've got him on the plane. We've got our check bags through. Um, and we're gonna give him one more opportunity to potty before we get through the security side of things and we can't come back outside. Come on, little man. There it is. Good boy. Good boy. We got it. We got our potty. Now we're gonna go uh, back inside. We'll get through security and we will update you once we get through that. All right, guys, and just like that, we are through security. Basically, they had us take him out of his little puppy crate there and walk through. What is the yeah. metal detector scanner? We just walked through the scanner. They said, all right, good to go. Everybody wanted a quick pet and a little love from the puppy. And he's definitely happier being out. So now we get to head up to our gate. Uh, we're gonna sit down, we're gonna hang out with him. And there's a couple things that we wanna talk about in regards to this. We're in the airport and there are puppy or service dog relieving areas. I think we're headed the right way. So there are dog relieving areas in the airport and I'm gonna tell you right now, we're gonna recommend that you don't use them with your new puppy. And the reason for that is these guys are not fully vaccinated until 16 weeks and we don't know what has been in that potty and poop area in the airport here. So for best results with them, try and get that done beforehand. We talked about that a little bit with the fact that we didn't feed him this morning. We're gonna be landing early afternoon. We'll get him fed then, and he'll get his two meals in. They'll just be a little bit later in the day once we arrive back in Kansas. So we're gonna go hang out. We'll probably get a few more shots, and then once we get on the plane, we'll show you what that looks like. All right, it is boarding time. We're gonna to have to get this little man back in his bag, AKA soft sided travel crate. And we're gonna get on the plane. Let's go. 
All right, little boy. He's up. He's a little grumbly. And once we get on the plane and take off, I bet he'll settle in really well. It's what they usually do. It's usually a pretty easy, it's usually a pretty easy flight. Most puppies are, you know, probably slightly overwhelmed by the whole process, but at the same time, um, you know, well socialized dogs and everything else are, they get moving, they settle down, just take a nap. And then we're gonna get into Chicago, I believe. We're gonna probably stop and get a quick bite to eat. Yes. Hungry. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> a little lab puppy. <laughs> and this, folks, is kind of what happens. Everybody wants to, everybody wants to pet the puppies. <laughs> All right. On to the plane we go, we go. On to the plane we go. Woo. There he is. Just chilling. Just chilling. What seat are you in? 12 C. And there he is. That's where he'll get to ride until we get all the way home. We are finished with the first leg of the trip. The little man slept the entire time. He made absolutely zero peeps. We we're gonna find our gate here in Chicago. Is he awake now? Hey buddy. We're gonna find our gate here in Chicago and then from there, we're gonna get set up. We've got a pretty short layover and then we'll be back in Kansas City very, very soon. We gotta go this way. All right, so we will keep you guys posted. All right, so we talked about this. You've got the service dog relief area. This is basically a little potty zone for the dog. It's fake grass and they say you can wash it down and everything else and then you have wash your hands and do everything. Clean up after your dog, sure. It's all ideal, but at the same time, it is not a great idea for a brand new little puppy until they are fully vaccinated folks. So yes, it's gonna be, hold it just a little while longer, man, but we're gonna be home in a short while and he will be much better off not sick than even if he has one accident on this ride home. So, all right, we've got a short little walk up to our gate. We're gonna try and snag a little bite of food, hopefully, and then we'll be on our way back to Kansas. All right, got a little sleepy man ready for the next little leg and last leg of our trip. All right, we are just about ready to be called. We're gonna get on the plane. We are gonna be home in an hour and a half. And we're gonna get this little guy out to pee, Let's get him fed and watered. Just help him stretch his legs, but he's been a trooper. He's asleep and ready to go on the plane. He's been super quiet, really well behaved. 
This is an easy thing you guys can do. Now, we will show you when we get home, we get him out, let him stretch his legs, but ultimately, guys, this is what it's like to fly with the puppy. So stay tuned here and we will finish this trip out. So we are in Kansas. We're out of the airport here. Um, <laughs> we are uh, getting this little guy out to go potty. He was a trooper. He was perfect. Cried a little bit at the airport right off the bat and then basically fell asleep. Super, super, super easy. Uh, most of the time, this is how it's going to go, folks. It's, uh, it's a great way to have the dog with you. A lot of people talk about flying dogs and having them shipped and all of these things and really you should be going to get them this process is not that difficult um, and it's a heck of a lot easier that few hours in the plane with us uh, was a lot easier for him than you know potentially a, yeah a couple days on a delivery van or any number of other things so we'll get him pottied then we're gonna head for home we're gonna go pick up our little boy eat our anniversary dinner and uh, then the journey will begin with this little Black Lab puppy. Thanks guys for watching, and we will see you in the next video.